Guys, let's play a game. Apparently, there's a lot of people that still don't know the exact genre of music that they're listening to when it comes to some of their favorite bands. So why not have you guys participate and we're going to use a website to confirm the exact genre this band is. We're going to be using sputnikmusic.com. Personally, I love this site because these guys, they have good ratings. They're very balanced with their ratings. That being said, the site is known for its elitism. That's the part I don't like. That being said, let's see if you guys can guess the genre. Lamb of God. Say who gives a fuck? Okay, we're saying metal, heavy metal, groove metal. A lot of people think Lamb of God is metalcore. I would say that they're just a heavy metal band. Here, let's open this up. Thrash metal, metalcore, metal. Okay, they don't even have groove metal in here. I would actually argue that these guys are just heavy metal or groove metal. Okay, next up, Parkway Drive. Okay, this one's a little bit easy. We're starting off easy. These guys are 110% metalcore. Yep, metalcore, metal. The reason why I'm doing this is because there's still a lot of newbies that come into like my videos that don't know the genres really, and that's why we're making this video. But yeah, these guys are just true and true metalcore. They got breakdowns, they got fast riffs. They're a good blend of just hardcore punk with like, you know, the upbeat drum patterns, but also a lot of metal riffage. Okay, next up we got In Flames. Okay, everyone's saying melodic death metal thrash uh heavy metal mellow death okay melodic death metal also metalcore and metal there you go chat got it um yeah i would agree with that to me you know they're not a true metalcore band because parkway drive has that more like hardcore punk with like metal hybrid where this feels a little bit more on the death metal -y side of things but they still feel like just like a pure heavy metal band but I think why it doesn't feel like pure death metal is that it doesn't have the spastic kind of rhythms, but also has like a lot of melodic moments too, especially here in the riffs, right? But yeah, so In Flames, melodic death metal. Next up, another easy one, Slipknot. I would agree, new metal and heavy metal. Let's find out. New metal, metal, thrash metal. Really, these guys are thrashy? I don't see the thrash. I think they're just pure like heavy metal band. Uh, new metal for sure. Yeah, it's just because like they got like a lot of DJ scratch boards. They even introduced like a little bit of like rap with Corey's voice, right? But like these guys are one like the main founders of new metal alongside, you know, Limb Biscuit, Korn and those bands too. But yeah, Slipknot, new metal, heavy metal. But let's talk about Loathe. Okay, this is a weird one. This is where things get a little bit tricky. The most simplistic way to like call them would be metalcore to me because they got breakdowns, they're also melodic, but these guys aren't your typical metalcore band, right? They're a little bit more avant-garde. They're also progressive too because their structures and the experimentation is just a little bit outside the box, but they also introduce a lot of shoegaze. They even got a black metal too. So black gaze, shoegaze, but just calling this band shoegaze I wouldn't say is uh, appropriate either. But to me, the best way to just like sum up their music is metalcore, shoegaze metalcore maybe, if you wanna be a little bit more thorough, but let's see what Sputnik Music says. Metalcore, shoegaze, progressive metal. What's cool about Load though, right? They don't sound like Parkway Drive, right? Parkway Drive was that pure metalcore band. Load is shoegazy and they're progressive. So to sum it up, I think metalcore is fine, but calling them like a progressive shoegaze metalcore band, if you want to be extra specific, which is kind of right. But yeah, they're a very unique band. And uh, this is where things get a little bit more confusing. Let's make things a little bit more simple again. But let's talk about Dream Theater. Yeah, look, we're not going to waste time here. This one's easy as hell. This is progressive metal. 
if it's not according to Sputnik music, we will stop using this dumbass site, okay? Progressive metal, progressive rock. See? Okay, for people that don't know progressive metal, the best way to sum it up is just music that doesn't follow a cookie cutter structure. Cookie cutter structure tends to be the pop music where it's like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, right? It could have a very long intro. It could be a minute and 30 seconds before the first verse kicks in. There could be two parts to the first verse. Like structures plays a major role. To me, it's like the experimentation. It's letting the music just kind of like write itself. There, there's no rush to end a song when it comes to progressive rock or progressive metal music. But yeah, Dream Theater, they are progressive metal to a T. Next up, we got another big one. Laura Shore. Yeah, everyone's heard this breakdown like a thousand times. Um, okay, Laura Shore. This one's pretty easy to a lot of people. <laughs> Animal noise core, pretty much. Laura Shore is a deathcore band. So deathcore obviously is death metal and hardcore music, just like how metalcore is metal music with hardcore. It's got the speed, it's got the fast rhythms, but it's also got death metal elements. Death metal being the gnarly, demonic kind of vocals with like a lot of blast beats and a lot of tremolo picking. That's what like death metal is. So combine that with hardcore, um, you have a deathcore band. But Laura Shore is a little bit different. They're not your typical deathcore band because they have a big, grand, epic sound to their music. They're very orchestrical, um, almost kind of like classical music combined with like deathcore, right? So that's why I think they're called blackened deathcore. To me, this is just a symphonic death deathcore applies to or black and deathcore because they got the black metal elements because it's symphonic but it's also very blast beat heavy but it's also dark right so let's see what sputnik music says death metal metalcore deathcore wow there's nothing black here or symphonic okay <laughs> this kind of caught me off guard but yeah um i would actually put deathcore in before metalcore if we're kind of like ranking them in order they are not a metalcore band to me. This is pure just deathcore and death metal with like black metal elements and symphonic elements. If Laura Shore did not have breakdowns in their music, they would be a death metal band. That's pretty much it. Like it's just the the only thing that makes them deathcore is those monstrous breakdowns, which they have in all their songs, really. The breakdowns is what has made this band blown up, really. So I think deathcore should be number one here and not death metal. But things are going to get a little bit more complicated again. We're moving on to Darko. What genre of music is Darko Peeps? Okay, I love these answers. Darko is one of those bands where things get a little bit more complicated, right? On surface level, for people who are just new to the genre, they might just seem like deathcore maybe. It's a little bit more nuanced than that. They have mathcore elements because their timings are a little bit odd but also they have like new metal elements too with like a lot of just like weird sounds and they're just almost like avant-garde deathcore darko is a cool band because they're one of those bands that are like a little bit more genre blending no one really sounds like darko which makes it harder for people to categorize what they are but yeah i would kind of agree with chat that i think they're new deathcore it needs to be deathcore before metalcore if they put metalcore before deathcore oh, oh sputnik music you're losing me you're losing me death metal Metalcore, gent? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> They're not a death metal band. They're not death metal. Uh-uh. They're not metalcore either. They're way too heavy to be metalcore. I do not agree with these. Do you guys agree? Gent is not, and gent is not a genre. I agree. Gent is not a genre. Neither is Thal. Gent is just a sound that you can make on guitar. With that being said, chugs should be a genre. Anyway, to stay focused, Darko, they're a deathcore band because they're absolutely filthy. Tom Barber comes from a deathcore background with Chelsea Grin and Laura Shore and other bands, right? So it he's just he's he's got deathcore vocals, but the rhythms, they're kind of groove metal a little bit, but they're way too intense, which makes them mathcore. They're just a very complex band. To me, these guys are new deathcore. New deathcore. Not death metal. No, 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 no. Okay, this is another fun one. We got Polyphia. Um, okay, a lot of people are saying either it's math rock or progressive rock. I think they're both, but which one trumps it? I don't know. Let's just put them together. They're a progressive math rock band. Their timings are a little bit more complex. Their style of guitar passages are very complex. They don't follow like a typical 4x4 pattern by repeating the same thing every four bars, right? 
Um, so that's what makes them mathy, but also they're very progressive because their music is very complex structure wise. They also introduce like new elements like trap into their music and like all these guest features on their new album. So that's what makes them progressive too. So I would say, yeah, to sum it up all together, progressive math rock, progressive rock, math rock, progressive metal. Okay. Okay. Sputnik music. We're good again. We're good again. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. We're going to do something that's a little bit more complex. Maybe, maybe it's going to be hard to see. North lane. Okay. So a lot of people are saying metalcore, prog core, new metal prog, but they are changing up their style with obsidian. It gets a little bit more complex. Um, I would say this is a more progressive metalcore band at the moment, but all the EDM influence makes them a little bit more different. I don't even think we have a genre for them. I think what Lichtner says, new metal prog, but let's see what Sputnik Music says. Metalcore, progressive metal, industrial, industrial. Okay, that's cool. I like that because these guys are a progressive metalcore band, but they do have an industrial elements. Yeah, so actually this is pretty cool. Industrial because like Obsidian is dark and has a lot of noises and sounds pulled in from electronic music. So I think industrial applies here, but yeah, they're metalcore, but their music and song structures and flows are a little bit too progressive. So yeah, progressive industrial metalcore. Again, this is where things get complicated. Knock loose. <laughs> A lot of people think they're hardcore music because they're not metal enough to be metalcore. They don't have a lot of metal riffs. They do sometimes tap into like death metal ideas with like these deep growls and stuff. But the hardcore fan base says these guys are not hardcore. Uh uh, hardcore music shouldn't have any kind of metal ideas. Once it does, then it becomes metalcore. Or what like Not of This Earth said, metallic hardcore. I think metallic hardcore is like the origins of this style of music where it was like a true blend of hardcore punk music with the odd metal stuff. But obviously the genres evolved and now people just say metalcore, but I think metallic hardcore was like the origin of this style of music. So Knock Loose, I would argue is a metallic hardcore band. Let's see what Sputnik Music says. Hardcore. See, they put hardcore before metalcore and then sludge metal. I think that's why these ba uh, this band is doing so well because they also pull in the hardcore fan base and the metalcore fan base like equally, it seems like. Okay, Kublai Khan. Yeah, okay, so I think these guys are hardcore. We're knock loose, right? Knock loose at least still has some metal elements. Kublai Khan doesn't have those metal elements. They don't have those metal riffs. They don't have that crazy double kicks and like crazy fills and like sweeps or anything. They're really just a chuggy band that's just like kind of focused on these beat down kind of rhythms. But let's see what Sputnik music says. Hardcore, metalcore, death metal. Yeah, so I guess like they still have like metalcore just to give it an extra genre. But like, yeah, to me, these guys are just like a pure hardcore band. That's honestly the best way to sum it up. But next up, we got Periphery. Okay, a lot of people are saying prog metal. Some people are <laughs> saying gent. Some people are saying uh, metalcore too. These guys are for sure prog metal because of like, again, they're long songs that don't follow any kind of like typical structure. Uh, this song, Wildfire, has a jazz section. That's kind of progressive. It's bringing in other genres into their style of metal, which is a progressive kind of idea. But also, I, they're a very metalcore band. They're metalcore because of the breakdowns and because a lot of like the big, huge melodic choruses, which you find in metalcore music. So to me, these guys are progressive metal, but also calling them progressive metalcore is not wrong either. Progressive metal, metalcore, gent. Freaking gent is not a genre, bro. Okay, last up is the band that is making some big waves in 2023. I keep talking about them because I can't wait for this all, man. I'm talking about Sleep Token. Porn 
before. You're right on the money with that one, man. Okay. Honestly, I feel like Sleep Token and uh, the sexy core bands need their own genre. Really, though, these guys, to me, especially the summoning, the summoning to me is a progressive metal song. Why it's not progressive rock is because we still got screams. We still got breakdowns. If we didn't have those elements, it could be a progressive rock song, but it's still a little too heavy at times to be progressive rock. But really, these guys don't get too heavy. So calling them progressive rock is not wrong either to me. They're progressive, but they're also like alternative. They're a very, very unique band. They're genre blended. And I think that's a big reason why these guys are blowing up. Progressive rock. What? They don't even have metal in here. Indie rock. Pop. Pop could be right. Indie. I don't I don't agree with indie. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of pop. I'm biased, but I do agree with pop. No, pop metal. Pop metal works. I agree. Pop metal. Indie. <laughs> But progressive rock, I think, is right because they don't have too many breakdowns. They don't have too many harsh vocals. But when those breakdowns hit, it's not rock music. It's too heavy for it. But This Place Will Become Your Tomb, their last album, is not a metal record. It's very, very soft. So yeah, progressive rock, progressive metal. They're a weird band. That's why I saved them for last. They're a band that's blowing up, but also it's kind of hard to articulate wh exactly what they are. What does Sputnik know? They think Gent is a... <laughs> Yeah, too heavy for your ass. Well, a lot of people are... Uh, actually, I won't finish that sentence.